Hey everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at three new things that are added to Laravel version 9.25. So let's get started. First thing that has been added is this new where not exactly method to the stringable class, and it is contributed by Dami001. Let me show you what it does. This is the method that has been added, but before let me show you this method over here: str Lara Tips. And there is this exactly method. If we pass a string over here that exactly matches this, then it will return just true. And there was another method that has been added when exactly you saw here it was true before. But now if we do it like this, if the Lara tips matches this string matches this, then it will actually return the instance of the stringable like this. You can see here, and it will actually DOM the matches, which is shown over here. And now let's say snake like this and this thing will be converted into the snake case. So this thing will be executed when this string matches this. But now this new method has been added, which is when not exactly, which means that if this string, you can see here the T is small letter over here. If this string doesn't match this string, then actually this closure will be executed. And if I run it, then you can see here no match and narratives, which is a stringable object. And again, we can also run here snake and it will be converted into the snake case. And before starting the next step, I would like you to introduce to this video sponsor, which is Honey Badger. It is obvious that we run into some errors. Everyone's code will have some errors, even if the code is written by amazing developers like my viewers. In such case, Honey Badger can be your best friend. Honeybazer allows you to monitor those errors, uptime, check-ins, and deployments in real time with easy to use interface. With that, you'll be able to know what happened immediately when your customers encounter those errors whenever they are using your application or website. Then you'll be notified via email, SMS, Slack, and many more immediately. You can easily install Honeybazer in minutes and when something goes wrong in your application, you can go to your dashboard and see full detail of the errors, which will help you to solve the issue much more faster. And thanks to Honeybazer for sponsoring this video. Honeybazer has both free and paid version and you can check the link in the description and be a DevOps hero in minutes by using Honeybazer. Now let's move to the second tip, which is this model query toss method. Before we could only call this toss method on a model, but now we can also call this on a query builder. Let me show you that also over here. I have that over here. This user find one, and here in the database, you can see here I have this 10 users. And you can see here all the created ad and updated ad of all these users are same. And whenever we call this touch on a model, it will actually update the updated ad of the user to the current timestamp. So now if I run it and come here and refresh, then you can see here this date is now changed. And now we can do the same thing on the query builder also. We couldn't do this before. Now we can just do mass touch. All the users that have the ID greater than five will be touched now. If I run it, then it will return me the number of rows that has been updated. And if I come here and refresh, then you can see here all the last five users updated ad date has been changed to the current timestamp. The third and the final thing that has been added is this fix to this DB table command. And it is done by kitset off. Before, whenever we ran this DB table command and just pass the table that is not present in our database, then it would throw this error. Now, if I run the same command on the latest version of Laravel like this, this table, it doesn't exist on my database. If I run it, then it will actually show me the table hello world doesn't exist. 